it, it goes from high high fashion to low fashion gangsters. Uh, also, uh, a, lot, a, lot lot of, of, a lot of gangs like will we'll pick one uh, flashy to do, and we're all gonna we're all gonna be that we're the cowboy gang. We're the yeah, we're the guys with. <laughs> you want to have one thing, yeah, yeah. You don't want to end up like that gang from the Warriors. It's like we're all on roller skates and we have overalls. <laughs> Oh, you don't you don't want to be like them? Well, that's like pick a lane, guys. What yeah. are you supposed to be, the overall gang or the roller skate gang? It's also what the baseball gang was also the face paint gang. Come on, yeah, that's true. I think that uh, one of the most successful gangs that in that that universe would have been the Naked Gang. <laughs> I mean, everybody's throwing everything at the wall, and a lot of times when everybody is zigging, it helps to zag. Yeah. Oh, look out. It's the Bronx Street Streaks. They're all helicoptering. <laughs> They're just coming at you. Helicoptering. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely an option is the, uh, you know. Just go uh, all natural. Well, you know, the clothes don't make the man, but that doesn't also mean that if you're a very successful gangster, it doesn't help the peacock a little bit. Yeah. And uh, uh, you know what? Maybe make an exception for feathers in your uh, yeah. in your all-nude gang. Say, listen, you, no shirt, no shoes, no drawers. No service or service. Say no, no clothes. Service. This is what you're gonna say when you induct people into your gang. But uh, you know, you can put a feather on it, and then they'll kneel, and then you'll uh, have a sword. You'll tap them on the shoulders, and then you'll uh, do like a. <laughs> Just kind of bat their uh, flaccid penis around with the end of your sword. Uh, this is this should be like a ceremonial, uh, like a rapier. Like a you don't want it to be like something with like a razor blade. You know, liable to cut up their shoulders or worse. Yeah, it, it, it's fine to use a blunted blade yeah. for a, uh, a purely ceremonial. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's there. a theatrical blade. Don't feel like, you know. I don't know. I, I, I think that it's important that it's truly metal. I don't think that we want them, you know, wiggling a, a rubber sword around in the air. I think that'll send the wrong message. Yeah, you don't want you don't want a rubber sword. Maybe, you know what? <sighs> I feel like this is probably bad advice. If you're a gangster, um, you should always be ready. For uh, for trouble, so having a blunted sword seems a little counterintuitive. However, maybe just put a marshmallow on the end of a very sharp sword. Oh, like a like a an epe? Yeah, just so you have a very you have a very sharp uh, very sharp sword, but then you just uh, stick a marshmallow on the end of it uh, so that you're not going to hurt. Um, your new guy who's joining the gang, Johnny Appleseed. Johnny <laughs> Appleseed. <laughs> he got that nickname when, when you guys all got naked. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, but then, then say that the police show up. Well, you know, we just pop that marshmallow off and <laughs> Let the let the five O taste your steel. 